back to the channel so first of all just be logged with your credentials and once you're done with that just make come back over here click on the check box and then click on this agree and continue now just simply wait and then just simply activate your cloud shield it will take a couple of seconds so just simply wait for that now click on continue now in the description box of this video i will share one github link just simply click on that link and then you are able to access this document now just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this command copy like this come back over here wait for a second and now just simply paste now what you do come back to the library instructions and from here just simply copy the second project id make sure that you have to copy the second project id copy like this come back over here paste and hit enter and make sure that there is no extra space after equal to now again come back to the github repo and from here just simply copy the second command copy like this come back over here paste hit enter wait for a second and then click on authorize now here just simply search for the monitoring open this thing new tab come back over here now just simply wait Now just simply close the unwanted pop-up like this way. Now I request you please pay attention over here because this is a very important part of this lab. Now what you do, just simply come back to the lab instructions and from here just simply copy the second project ID. Copy like this, come back over here. Now just simply click over here, paste, wait for a second and then just simply choose the second project ID like this way. And make sure that you are performing all the tasks in the second project ID otherwise you will not get a score. I am again saying make sure of one thing is you have to perform all the tasks in second project ID. Okay, now what you do, just simply click on this group, just simply wait and then click on this create group. Now for the name, just simply come back over here and click on the task number 2. Now from here, just simply copy this name carefully and make sure that you do not copy this last full stop. Copy like this way, come back over here and just simply paste over here like this. Now for the type, just simply choose the resource type and here, just simply choose a VM instance and then click on this create. Wait for a second now. And it's done. Now if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. Now for the task number 3, come back over here and click on this uptime check. And then click on this create uptime check. Just simply wait. Now for the protocol, just simply choose the TCP. And for the resource type, just simply choose the instance. And now for the apply to, just simply choose a group. And then just simply choose the group which is just created. Now for the port, just simply type 22. And the check frequency must be 1 minute. And then click on this create continue. Now for the response timeout, just make sure that it must be 10 and then click on this continue over here now for the alert make sure that this toggle must be on and then click on this continue now for the title just need to type quick lab and then click on this create wait for a second and it's done now if you just simply scroll down and click on both the check my progress you will get a score without any issue just simply wait and watch now for the task number four what you do just simply come back over here now here just simply search for the login now just simply click over here wait for a second now and make sure that you are logged in with the second project ID. From here, you can just cross verify over here. Now, what you do, if you just first of all, just click on this close like this. Now, if you just hover over here, you can see log router. Just simply click over here, wait for a second, and then click on this create sync. Now, for the name, what you do, just simply scroll down. And if you just simply click on this check my progress for the task number four, you will get a score without any issue because we have performed this task previously. Now, what you do for the task number five, first of all, just simply copy this name, copy like this way. And make sure that you do not copy any extra space. Copy like this, just simply paste over here. Now click on this next. Now for here, just simply choose a logging bucket. And from here, just simply choose the second bucket. This one. Do not choose the default. Just simply choose the second and then click on this next. Now for the point number three, just simply click on this next. Now for the point number four, I request you please pay attention over here. So basically what you do, first of all, just simply copy this name, copy like this, come back over here and then click over here. Now for the name, just simply paste over here, like this way. And make sure that there is no extra space over here now just me scroll down and from here just me copy this filter copy like this come back over here scroll down and just me paste over here like this and then click on this create sync wait for a second and it's done now if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress you will not get a score because lab take time to update a score on the task number five so basically we have to just simply wait for a couple of minutes and we will get a score for sure so just simply wait and let's see and as you can see on my second attempt i got a score if you're not able to get a score on the second attempt no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of seconds and you will get a score for sure and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys